this chap here, for example, uh, you know, Michael Hart. Oh, mashallah. He wrote a book. That's nice. And he wrote a book about the most influential person that ever existed in history. Chris. If, I, if I die believing Jesus is the Son of God, what does that it's mean? It's blasphemy. It, it, what does it, it mean? It's, it's blasphemy. I'll, I'll make it easy for you. Shall I make it easy? Yes. All right. Christianity and Islam cannot be reconciled. Oh. What? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, all oh, heaven. Oh, and he's not going to burn in hell for eternity. I have found a translation, even if I find one. No. Even if I find no. one, a translation that where this is the word C is used. What is, where is your point now? Chris, you atheists claim to be intellectual, yes. reasonable, yes. logical. Yes. Well, we've got the evidence here, you're not. Wrong. Chris, I mean, that's unbelievable, unbelievable, what I would man. say to you is this, Chris, you, you, you've got to appreciate that if you apply oh. that type of argument, hold on a second, just please hear me out, right? If you apply that type of an argument, then we could deny anything. We could even deny our own reality now here. You could deny absolutely yeah. everything. You could deny I, that tree exists, that sun exists. No. You could just say that Actually, it's... Actually, no, because I... You don't know. Accept this reality. No, because... The, 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 no, because that's, that's exactly... That's, Why do you accept reality? Because I don't feel it. OK, when I dream, when I dream, it feels real. No, no, no. Dreams when are actually real. They're actually playing. playing. No, no, but Chris, no, but they're not real. Point, they're not real. Chris. Dreams are real. No, hold, oh, hold, hold, sorry, sorry, hold, hold, sorry. Hold, hold, no, sorry. Playing activity is real. No, no. Is a dream real? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to say this. Is a dream real? It's called. It's actually a real thing in your head. Is it? Is it real? Let's watch. How do you understand the term real? Creating illusion, which is to see. So, is a dream real or an illusion? It's. It's like a TV film. Is a TV film real or an illusion? Send your tape. The TV film is real. Right. When I dream, yeah, the my... Next oh, listen, just to me. When I dream... Chris. All that's Chris. Your head but Chris. You know, Chris. When I dream... It's actually a real thing. Chris. Well, it's a delusion, How do you distinguish between your dreams and the real... And the reality? In the middle. How do you distinguish between your dreams and what's what? Oh, it could be a problem, yeah. You, you can't distinguish it can between... It be a problem. Yeah. So you don't know actually if you're dreaming now, for example? Could be. Uh, uh, Chris, I, I, I'm going to tell you a very yeah. quick story, very, very quick yeah. one. It's quite funny, actually, this. Right, right. I was... I had an alarm, he was awake in the morning, right? And he's, this was this tone, it was very, very annoying. Right? And he used to wake me up in the morning. This one has lived back at my mum's house in uh, Manchester. Right? Anyway, so the alarm going off, yeah? So I'm trying to stop this alarm, right? It's going... I'm trying to stop this alarm, and it's not stopping, right? And I'm thinking, shaking the clock, it's not stopping. So I get a screwdriver, and I open up this clock, right? And I take the whole thing to pieces. And it's all over my bed. And all these mechanics of this alarm, and it's still going... And my mum comes into the room, she goes, turn that bloody alarm off, right? And I, I'm trying, I'm trying! Right? And guess what? I wake up again, and the alarm's going off. No, for me, that was real, mate. Yeah. That was real, mate. So, I, as he said, how do you know what's real and what's not? If you want to go down there, there's another yeah, story. Yeah, it's dangerous, yeah. yeah? So, I was saying... So, this reality is real because it's the only viable co conclusion. So, and this, is, this, takes you, this takes you back to the question that I asked you about how do you know what you're thinking and rationalising, the tool that we have that's evolved, as you believe, with biology, is reliable. something reliable. So I'll give an example. Does evolution cause an ev evolution of thought process that lead to truth? That was the point I was trying to get to. Well, at least thought process. <clears throat> why, why would you say that? What, what's the evidence? I can well, give an example. Twice. I can give you a example. You look at what's going on in play. In any plane, in the simplest chemicals, is there electrons buzzing around inside there, chemicals buzzing around? It's cause, causing thoughts. You can see that, demonstrate that in living so, animals. So the question is about, are the thoughts truthful, that they lead to truth? Well, they so can do. They can do lead to delusion. So if I give you a counter-example, what would you, you make of it? I'll give an example. So there's a, a creature, call it a mammal, that doesn't, have, doesn't eat any of a particular type of berry <coughs> because it believes that all berries uh, are poisonous. So it doesn't eat them all. There's another creature that has evolved to select some berries of a certain coloration and eats those. But it doesn't eat the rest because it believes that the rest are um, poisonous and will kill it. Are any of those true? It could be. They are going to test them to eat the berries. And most animals do eat berries. And they find out what the poison is. So I'll, poisonous. I'll give you a specific example. So the, one, the, the creature that doesn't eat any of the berries, it will survive, it will reproduce, its genes will get passed on, that thought process that has evolved will also get passed on. Because it's already not eating any berries. It's not going to change because it's evolved that way. That's not how things evolve. They test things. Everything's a test. 
What's Evolution, the test? Evolution, everything, it's always tested. You can always test. That's test. the point, you can always test. Test, what, what are you talking about? You what are you? Berries. You can test the berries. So, which, so which mammal is testing which berries? The one that doesn't eat any berries at all? The mammal, in my example that I've given you, that doesn't eat berries I at all. Exist. So I'm giving an example. The, the, the analogy is that evolution doesn't actually work that way. Real life, out there in the wild... OK, so tell me how evolution works. ...doesn't work that way. Animals try food. Their children are terrible at putting things in their mouth, aren't they? They're constantly testing things. Testing don't don't conflate uh, children with animals. Let's, 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 let's be very specific. All animals you, you do tell, that. You they tell me how, No, no. You tell me how evolution works. It's a constant testing. So, no, no. Animals how? No, no. You're, you're not answering the question. You're just using the word testing a lot. Yes. That's what, that's what how it is. does test. how does evolution which work? Which model of evolution are you adhering to? Which which model? Which one are you saying is the way? The normal one. Everything's a test. Everything's constantly being tested. And what survives? <laughs> How's it being tested? Well, you say berries. But berries aren't that. Most berries aren't totally poisonous. You have one. It tastes bad. You don't eat it again. Take another one. It's really nice. You eat more of them. No, no, if the berry kills you, if the berry kills you, then what happens? There's no such berry. There's no such there, berry there are, are there, you, there, there are no poisonous berries? It's not, it's not that the one berry will kill you. OK, Chris, Lots you know... of berries will kill you, Chris, one won't. One will uh, make you uh, ill. Chris, you... Yeah, no, no, that's how, that's how it works. Chris, Chris, can you relax? So, can you just relax and have a discussion? On. You're making a sort of deal. All right, all right. So one berry. If you eat one berry, that'll make you ill, but it won't that? kill you. Yeah, yeah. If you eat lots of right. them, it'll kill you. Do you think you. an animal... So you take All one right. berry... Chris, you've lost... Chris, 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 so what you're saying now... Don't eat them so, Chris, Chris, Chris just so I understand what you're saying, yeah? yeah? You're saying an animal yeah. will come to a bush of berries, yeah. and it will take one berry, yeah. chew it up a bit, wait to see the reaction, and then if that doesn't have an adverse reaction, it'll come back to the bush and eat more berries. Is that what you're claiming? Basically, yeah. You're saying the animal will go to a bush of berries and just eat berries until it's full. I don't get that. See, Chris, you're, you're, Chris, not, you're not even being reasonable. You're, you're, you're not even being reasonable. That's, with your, no, that's not even that's rational. Not works at all. It's an animal. You're saying to me an animal will take one berry. So, animal does a scientific process. <laughs> the whole point of animals are scientists. Berries so. Is they don't want to be eaten. So, an animal. So they taste bad. The berries don't want to be eaten. Yeah. The berries which are poisonous taste bad. That's why they're poisonous. So the, so the mammal they, so they won't be eaten. So the mammal that avoids all the berries has it arrived at any truth about the world or not? Yeah, some berries are dangerous. Okay, not all berries though. No, it doesn't do everything. Okay, so some things, no, but this mammal believes all berries are dangerous. Let's give you an example. Let's say. A berry, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, this will stop his silly example. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's just say a berry. Right. No, 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 I'll tell you what. Just, I'll, I'll, all right, all right, ready? All right, ready for this. A mammal yeah. goes to a bush and eats a berry. Yeah. And he waits a day to see the result of that berry. No, that's all right. Right. no listen, 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 listen. You've got to no. listen to this. All right, yeah. all right. And then he has an adverse reaction to this berry, has a bit of diarrhea, and realizes, you know what, that berry's not good. <laughs> then he comes to the conclusion from eating that one berry that all berries are poisonous. And therefore, he. Are you saying now, is that, tr is that a true. Concept because he tasted that one berry. He's discovered that some berries. Are no, 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 not no, some. But he's concluded now he that all concluded. berries, all berries, must do this to you. Okay, maybe he's concluded. All and all and, and then his descendants and children and come to this conclusion that all berries are poisonous. Is that objective truth or not? They'll probably try them as well. No, no. It doesn't work that way with evolution. It does, you yeah, just oh, said yes, it. Does. How does it? Oh, how how does it? If it's come to the conclusion, Please, you're so, you're such a how, how, is it? how is it? How is it? Because everything tests it. So what you're saying is. So now what you're saying. Sorry, sorry. So now what you're saying. Testing. Chris, so now what you're saying. Just so I understand. Testing. Oh, I'm missing the stuff. Let me just see if I've understood. So now what you're saying is, even if there's an adverse reaction to that berry, now the animal then the next day is going to go to a different berry bush and try that berry as well. Let's see if that is. Right, and then what you're saying is its descendants will ignore what its parents did, it's and uh, and no, you it's just said they don't understand. right, right. So now, so so now what he's saying now, right? The, the young of that species won't take pay attention to what its parents did, and it will have to test it itself. So now, according to so according to his evolution, now there is no evolving. But it's just, everything. Uh, no, no, it's nonsensical. Area. No, no, it's good. It's I think, good. I think, but Chris, what we should just finish up on and say All right. is that you know, look. If you were, even if, Chris, even if you were objective, I, I think, look, just soften your character a little bit. A little just bit. Just try to please listen to what we're trying to say to you. You don't have to accept yeah. it. No, listen to, listen to what I'm saying. Your look, arguments no, but listen, I've heard no, but before. Chris, but Chris, listen. Not listen. a new argument. But Chris, listen. What, what I find, uh, because I had a discussion with you previously you've actually, as well. You've actually told people this before. You see, Chris, <laughs> oh no, but what I'm saying is that we've had this discussion before as well, uh. right? Just don't be so rigid in your views that you... Purport, you know, silly arguments to defend. 
but when you say a spark, that is silly. Yeah, come on, no, come on, that's silly. Come on, we've got to understand. So all I'm saying to you is that, and hum, 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 humbly, humbly, what I would say to you, Chris, is please give it some consideration. Because I'll tell you why. Life is very short. Right? Life is incredibly short, Chris. I feel the car. No, no, listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Life is, course, life is incredibly short. I I'll be 50 be. next year. Yeah. I can't I don't even understand how a half a century of my life is nearly over. Tomorrow we're going to die, Chris. Now, either, Chris, you are right that nothing happens after death and I'm not accountable and I don't have to believe in anything. I can do what I want. Or, after you die, you will be questioned. Now, yeah. all I'm saying to you, Chris, is that there's a lot of evidence, and I believe it's very strong evidence, that indeed we will stand in front of God and we'll be questioned for what we believe, what we denied, what we did. So all I'm saying to you is that just be, at least acknowledge that there's, that there's a possibility and ponder on that with some deep uh, contemplation. Do, what, I'm, what I'm saying to you is that don't be so... I don't believe you. Yeah, Chris, yeah, yeah. Chris, no, but listen. A seven you're no, playing with no, action, no, man. No, but look, that might be true. I, I, I don't deny whatever he no, says. Right? Contemplating no, contemplating on God. No, no, what, what, it, could, it could be, it could be. Look, that's not the point. The point here is this, Chris, right? That, you know, Allah tells us in the Quran that on after the day of judgment, you will see every living thing will be resurrected and we will be questioned for what we've done. Now, if we are right, you have to accept that there's a huge, colossal consequence of that possibility. If we're wrong, it doesn't matter, right? But the fact that the magnitude of eternity is so great, please give it that importance and ponder on it very carefully. Okay, I know it's like this. Yes. I come from basically Christian background. Yes. Which means yes. that I should drive a Christian. When I die, yes. I should be a Christian. I will die believing <coughs> Jesus is the Son of God. And you know what, what does that mean? What does that mean? No, but Chris, that's not necessary. Oh, what does it mean? No, but Chris... Come on, what does it mean? No, no. Well, what Chris, does it mean? Chris, I, if I die believing Jesus is the Son of God, what does that it's mean? It's blasphemy. It, it, what does it, it mean? It's, it's okay. blasphemy. I'll, I'll make it easy for you. Shall I make it easy? Yes. All right. Christianity and Islam cannot be reconciled. Oh, what? I'll tell you, all heaven, and he's not going to burn in hell for eternity. It doesn't mean that. No, no, it doesn't mean that. Yes, it love, come on. Shirk is an unforgivable sin. Can I ask you a question? Shirk is the one unforgivable sin. If you don't understand the shirk, you burn in hell for eternity. Do not lie to me. 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 Chris, calm down. You don't believe that anyway. You don't believe that anyway. Calm down. You don't believe that. You don't. You don't. No, Chris, you don't. Why are you so scared of that burning in fire? You don't believe in fire. I'm not scared of burning in fire. Why are you so scared? About it. No, but Chris, why are you so animated no, but, about no, but, it? No, but Chris, listen, listen. No, first, no. first of all, we're told. Can I ask you a question? Hold, 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 first of all, we're told, we're told, Allah forgives all sins. Except shirk. Hold on a second. Except hold, hold, shirk. Hold on a second. But now, when we define what shirk is. It's accepting others from God. Hold on a second. Others God. Hold Jesus on, hold, God. But what does the Prophet Muhammad say? That if even it, on the Day of Judgment, even an atom's way of Iman, of belief, you know, Allah, can, Allah will give that person paradise. No. Hold on a second. Now, 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 this concept of exactly uh, to what degree Allah will not accept and accept. Now, the issue here is this, Chris. Now, listen, Chris, it's Chris. It's no, but, no, but, it's very no, clear. No, but issue, but issue. If you think Jesus is the Son of God, you are burning hell for eternity. He doesn't say that. That's That's the Quran doesn't say that. Chris, the Quran doesn't say that. Sure. Chris, the Quran doesn't say that. In the olden days, in the olden days, yeah. The judges would pass sentences even on children and they would jail them in hard labor. Oh, yeah. Okay. You could argue that that rule was right or wrong, but you could not argue that the judge didn't exist. You see my point? In other words, in other words, not accepting a ruling or accepting a ruling does not invalidate the person who's made the ruling. You can question the ruling. Or question the, the existence of the of the one who made that ruling. Do you understand my point? Mm. So it's a separate issue. So if you talk about moral issues based upon what you believe God would do, that's a moral issue that we can discuss. But you can't deny the you can't deny the existence of the one who made the ruling. You just question it. You understand my point? So all I'm saying to you, Chris, is that humbly, rather than be so entrenched in your because it's a belief, right? At least be open-minded and say, okay, Hamza, 
I, you know, this this issue about, for example, being burnt in hell, I can't reconcile this issue. No, no. How, how do you explain that within theology? How can you explain that to me whereby, you know, maybe I might understand it because I, from, I don't understand. Now, this issue that you raise is a theological debate an issue even amongst scholars of all faiths, Judaism, uh, uh, certainly Christianity and Islam, yeah. as to how they can reconcile this loving God, merciful God, and then at the same token, hear about these very harsh punishments. You understand what I'm saying, Chris? But, but that's a theological debate and a discussion that we can have, certainly. But don't deny the existence of a creator based on something that doesn't sit on your heart in terms of a particular ruling or a particular thing. All I'm going to say to you, Chris, is this. Look, by accepting Islam, you lead, and Hamza's raised this point many times, a more wholesome life, a life with uh, uh, less things that would affect you in a very, you know, adverse way, like alcohol, like drugs, like gambling, I womanizing. No, 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 I'm no, not saying say that you, you do. do. I'm not saying you do, Chris. And it opens up, even psychologically now we've found that people who do believe in a creator, they have less mental illness, they have less depression, they have less suicide. So you have to ask yourself, within even an objective way, that there must be something in there that must be benefiting these people. You know, one of the things recently I was, I was, I was looking at is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And you hear all these slurs about he was like this and he was like that. And he was, you know, and, and, and then recently I thought, well, let me look into what do the non-Muslim historians and academics say about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. People say he's a false prophet. They say he's a liar. They say he was delusional. He was this, he was that. You know, but this chap here, for example, uh, you know, Michael Hart. Oh, mashallah. He wrote a book. That's nice. And he wrote a book about the most influential person that ever existed in history. Now, he is a scientist. And a Christian. A Christian. No, no, listen, a Christian, a scientist, uh, an author. Who does he pick as number one? A false prophet, a liar, a deceiver, a, a person who made stuff up? No. He picks Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the most influential man that ever existed. Now, even as an atheist, you know yeah, the, the No, but hold on a second. No, no, but listen. No, no, but listen. No, but listen. Even as an atheist, you know what you should ask yourself? Why? Is why? Why would, have, you, have you read this? Why would this man write a book, do a study? Yeah, and, no, no, but, no, 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 my, 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 he's, he's number five. Chris, yeah, my, my, no, but Chris, my point no, here, my, even one? as an atheist, Chris, is that if this is a false religion, yeah. this is a false... Is, hold on a second. Doesn't, that doesn't prove it's true. No, but what it does do is this, Chris. To an objective, balanced, rational human being, it poses a very deep philosophical and fundamental question, which is that if this man is false, if he's made it up, in the seventh century, a goat herder, with no military, with no power, with no real influence, becomes the greatest in existence, the question has to be asked, why, how? And upon that investigation, Chris, hopefully, I hope, and I pray for you, and I hope, and I, you know, hope that I'm guided and I keep and, and stay on the right path I mean. as well, which is that when you pose these type of questions and you ponder on them, believe you me, you know, I know somebody who's doing a PhD today, he's a biologist, accepted Islam just by studying the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because that person was exist that person was convinced that and and you know they happen to be a psychologist, they've got a doctorate in psychology as well, right? Um, they weren't Muslim, but they didn't even read the Quran. They, read, they just studied the life of the Prophet Muhammad, but because they were open-minded, and they studied it with an open heart and an open mind, they were convinced that this could not be a false prophet, this could not be a liar, this could not be somebody delusional. They, they, they took away all the variables, all the possibilities that the accusations that are being made against him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, and they came to the conclusion that, you know what, this is a messenger from God. Now, what I'm asking you to do, Chris, is this, is I'm saying to you, Chris, please, just have an open mind. Don't be so entrenched and so aggressive and angry in yes. your... In your, in your well, well, you, well, Chris, all I'm saying to you is be objective, be sensible, and, and you know, ponder on the fact that, look, we're going to die very, very shortly. 
That's if, scary. If, that's, it's if, not an argument. Chris, fear. No, it's but, not no, no, it's not about fear, Chris. Is it is. Uh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's sorry, sorry. I have to interject now. No, exactly. um, unfortunately, Chris, you're wrong again. All right. Man is only motivated by punishment or reward. Only. Yeah? Really? Yes. So, for example, when there's a double yellow line, why don't you park on it randomly? Because you fear a ticket, isn't it? So fear is a motivation. So, right, well, so... Well, it's a dangerous park. Yeah. No, you don't not park on double yellow lines because you think it's dangerous. You park well, the... Because you probably well, think... You, you, your rational mind will say, why is this dangerous? It doesn't look dangerous. I'm all right here. No, you'll park there. You won't park there because you know why. Because you fear a parking ticket. So fear will motivate you to move. Why? Because that is how human beings are. We'll do things to avoid uh, a consequence and we'll do things to get reward. This is just how we operate. Well, and what we're saying, what we're saying is... And what we're... why do you like religion? No, not at all. This is why our creator has knows man inside out. He knows his motivations. So he gives you the greatest reward to attain and the greatest punishment to avoid to bring you to the good. Simple. Except within my system. The, 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 the council do not want to give you a ticket for parking on yellow lines to inconvenience you. They're doing it for the benefit of everyone, yeah? But you'll be motivated by that fear. That fear will motivate you. So the fear of hellfire in reality should motivate you. You know why? Because it motivated me. Because you know what? Because you are going to die one day. And whether you think when you die you're worm food and that's the end of it, you cannot prove that. You don't know if not it's true. You just hope it's true. And if it's not, you've got big problems, Chris. So what I would do if I were you, rather than just holding on to what you think and just refuting everybody, look at who's claiming what's going to happen after you die, why they're making such a claim, and is that claim substantiated? I've read the Quran twice. Huh? You can read the Quran. Uh, what did I say to you earlier? Chris, what did I say to you? What method do you employ to understand what the Quran says? You read it. No, what I'm method do you use? Look, I can it's read words. a book. Okay, uh, oh, I'll give you an example. I could read a book on quantum physics, yeah? Does that mean after I finish reading this book on quantum physics, I will understand quantum mechanics? Obviously not. I will need to go to a quantum physicist and say, what did he mean by this process? Wouldn't I? What was so the context? You, so you can't just read what something. Well, how does that word apply to this situation or that situation? You can't just there's, there's read a lot of and understand. There's a lot you of need a tool to understand it. So if you've read the Quran twice, Alhamdulillah, it's beautiful. But how have you understood it? How so have you? It's so easy. No, so so what, I'll ask one more time. What method have you used to understand the verses of the Quran? Read it. So you've got your, your method is your rationale. Yeah. And he's and, read a and translation in English, you know. Oh, I'll get you a problem. It's a problem. You go to what? Big problem has with the Quran. The problem you have you, with the Quran. Yeah. Let's say the nice verse, the one every bit of the verse. Is it verse 1886? Verse 1886. Well, I remember this one. It says, he's walking, walk, something like he walked on the road to reach the setting place of the sun, he found a city in yeah. a muddy Who walked on the road? Uh, so, the um, two horned one. Who's that? That's just the point. Of he's just he referring is. to the muddy puddles, sun yeah. sitting no, in the muddy puddles. Uh, I understand what he's referring let, to. Let, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. Let him just have the it, leeway on it. So what do you think it's saying? It says the sun sets in the muddy spring. What does that mean? The sun sets in the muddy spring. What do you think that's what it's saying? Yeah. The sun yeah. sets in the muddy spring. That's what it says. When the Quran also he's tells you. Says what does the Quran say about the sun other than your muddy spring? Is it sun in the What? Yes, yes. It's around the earth in the Right, so where's this muddy spring? I don't know. Well, well, according to you, the Quran saying it sets in a muddy spring. So, yeah. where's it? Is this muddy spring? There's no such thing. It's a muddy spring. So, so this, so there's two things here. Either, either there's a muddy spring in orbit around the Earth as well. But no, no, no. This is your only conclusion. So it goes into a muddy spring. It go, right. So where's this muddy spring? It doesn't exist. Right. That's how I know. Right. So the so the sun is going. So you're saying you're agreeing that the the sun is going around. You're saying the sun is going around the Earth. The Quran says. The Quran says that? Yes. The Quran says the sun goes in an orbit. Yes. Doesn't say the earth is orbiting the sun. That's, that's, I don't know what about e Each that. have their orbit. Each have their orbit. Okay. So the, the sun and the moon. So so you're saying the sun is in an orbit, yeah? Yeah. And at the same time, the Quran says the sun is in an orbit. Yeah. And at the same time the Quran is saying and it sets in a, a in a yeah. muddy pool. Now what does so, that tell so, you? So your reason for denying what does that tell you? Your, your reason for it denying you no, 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 it tells you no, no, you've no, misunderstood no, no, what it, it means. No no no. It tells, it tells me you know what it tells me? This muddy spring is metaphoric and it's not talking oh, a literal muddy spring. That's what it tells me. I mean metaphorical. When, when you see the sun setting, when you see the sun setting, when you see the sun setting, yeah, does it look beyond the horizon? Does it look like it's setting in the sea? 
Does it look like it's setting in the sea? No, it's beyond the horizon. Does it look like it's setting in the sea? No. It doesn't look like it. Of course it does. Of course it does. When you watch the sun setting, does it look like it's setting in the sea if you're on the beach? It's like it's beyond on the horizon. Does it look like it's setting in the sea? No. It doesn't look like it. So this is where you're, you're, you're losing credibility. <laughs> Honestly, Chris. It's beyond the, it's on the horizon. See, it's the, beyond it's, the sea. If the Quran states, beyond as you're sea. saying, that the, if your Quran sends in orbit, it's the sun's rays in orbit. No, no, hold on. So, no, you've got a flat world, right? The dome over it. What? Do you believe in the world's flat? The sun inside the dome. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? So who's claiming that flat earth and dome? Where? Brian well, Austin talks about the firmament being like a tent. What? Chris, let me explain something. <laughs> no, but Chris, let me... You know what I asked you earlier? No, no, listen, sorry, no, 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 I, I will let you say yeah, Proust, yeah. So just so I understood earlier, is, again, is this your rationale? You're reading the Quran and this is how you're interpreting yeah. it? Okay, this is, All right. I see your problem. I see your problem. I see your problem. The problem. muddy thing is the thing I'm dealing with, right? And you can't give me an excuse for the muddy thing. If I can, then what? Come on. No, 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 no. I don't do. I don't work that way. If we can show you now that the way you've understood the Quran is incorrect, yeah, will you accept that, that that's a stupid argument and you won't bring it up again? And you'll also question all the other stupid arguments you have okay, to see fine. if they're just as stupid. Okay. No, yeah. no. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll ex if you think me wrong, I'll accept I'm wrong. Prove what wrong? By the, mu by the muddy spoon. Chris, the, gr the way that the grammar has been explained there is that in the Quran, Allah talks about parables, Allah talks about how things appear to people. Does he? It, yes. It, it doesn't You've read it twice? It does not necessarily mean that the sun set, set it into a muddy pool. It appeared to them so. So you've, what you've got to understand, what you've got to understand is... Please, I, it, it does not, it's found. Hold the word second. is found. Let me explain. He found Please, it, let me, me... Okay, 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 okay. So found by, by who? By who? By, by the by, witnesses. By, no, 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 by who? By the, no, no, right. So basically, so, so what you're saying now is yes. that the, the two-horned one, yeah. he, he's his opinion, no. he's, yes, no, he yes. found it. So he, no, 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 definite statement. according to him. No, 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 but listen, definite no, but Chris, Chris, no, 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 he's not saying that. Let me explain something to you, look. Uh, and I'm not trying to be disingenuous yes. here, you know. Oh. In, in Arabic, uh, there are... The, it's a very, very, very rich language. In really? a sense that... I'll explain to you why. So, for example... It's still done. No, hold on a second, Chris, hold on a second. <laughs> so, for example, listen, hold on. So, like, the word sleep, the word sleep. In English, we have the word sleep. Or sleepy, rather, sleepy, yeah? In Arabic, there are, I think, more than a dozen words used for exactly what type of sleep? Yeah, yeah, these are and that sort of thing. Right, but it's, 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 it goes way beyond that. And, and that's what I mean. So right. often what happens is you'll get a translation time and it will say, it will say No, 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 I don't go to that. It will say sleepy. Mm -hmm. But it's a rendition of a, the verse. an Arabic word that could, actually could not be exactly sleepy but it could be exa dozing, it could be eye, you know, eye shut, it could be you know, fast asleep, it could be all sorts of different and, and that's what I'm trying to explain to you. When we read the Quran, for example, in English, we don't say that's the Quran. We say that that is a approximation of the, roughly the meaning of the Quran. That's not the Quran, though, because as Muslims, we recognize that the grammar of the Quran, the words spoken by God, as we say, are the Arabic Quran. This is just a rendition of a, a, a very just a zest, a feeling of what its subject matter, what it's talking about. And so that's why, even as Muslims, when I read the Quran in English, because I don't understand Arabic, I'll read the verses and I'll say, OK, I will go to somebody who's an expert within the grammar and knowledgeable about the context. And I will say, what does that refer to? What does it mean? Because the Quran, it, you've read the Quran twice, right? Allah says that there are some verses that are plain, that anybody can understand. And there are some that are, they're not plain, they're not easily understood. You have to refer to scholarship and academia. And the Quran makes that very clear. So it gives you the, inter no, listen, Chris, so it gives you the tools to interpret it. And it tells you that there are some verses that are plain and there are others that are not. And so by saying that, it's explaining to you that you can't just simply interpret it yourself and in a language that's been translated from a very rich, you know, classical Arabic language. It's not, e it's not something that you can just easily do. So, 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 so what you should do... Oh, look at this first. All right. Okay.
Shall I, how it's metaphorical. Shall I explain it? I can't explain All right. it. Let, let Hamza explain it. Let oh, okay. So this is, the, this is the first in question. Yeah. You're saying, uh, this referring to uh, someone called Durul Qanain, and it's in Surat al-Kaf, uh, verse 86, if anyone wants to reference it. It says, so when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a muddy spring and found a people there about, we said, either punish or show them kindness. Okay, this is the sort of the kaf, right? Now, using your rationale, explain the verse. It's wrong. No, no, explain what you think it's saying. It says the sun sets in a muddy spring. Right, all right. On a flat world. Right. So when he says, um, and he, he found it setting, what does that mean? He found it. He was there, he found it, he saw it. Right. So what does it mean, though? He saw it. He saw what? He saw it setting in a muddy spring. Right, so, so when he saw the sun setting, yeah, to him it's doing what? Yeah. Right. He's using the word found, the found. Right, no, no, no. So he came to a place, he came to a place where the sun sets, looks like it's setting in the water, yeah? Right? Right, right. Let, 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 me, let, let me give you um, an explanation of it, yeah? How was that? Okay. Okay. Till when he reached the setting place of the sun. This means that Zulqanin followed a route until he reached the furthest point that could be reached in the direction of the sun setting, which is the west of the earth. As for the idea of his reaching the place in the sky where the sun sets, this is something impossible. And the tales told by storytellers. Yeah, right, it is impossible. We know that. Okay. He found it setting in a muddy spring. Means that he saw the sun as if it was setting in the ocean. This is. Okay. It's uh, this thing. Listen, listen to me. Uh, okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Spring. Are you listening? No, Are you listening? Spring. Are you listening? What's the Arabic word? Do you know? No, Are you listening? no, no. What's the Arabic word? No, it's spring. Are you listening? It's translated as spring. It's translated. Are you listening? It's translated as spring. Are you listening? Why are you getting so upset? Are you listening? Because you're lying. Yeah. No, 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 it's a lie. Oh, what have I lied about? I'm reading the Quran. I'm alive. You said the ocean. No? You said the ocean. No, I didn't. As if. I'll explain it to you. This, see, what I'm doing now, you see, I'm understanding the Quran. No. No, listen. Shall I explain it to you? You're making up excuses. Chris, Chris, Chris. This is on it's camera, mate. It's, it's on clear. camera, mate. There's no it excuses here. It matters. Chris. But you're passing a judgment Chris. on a matter of... No, no, no. Let me continue. No, no, but you're, but no. no, 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 no but you're, Do not but, use the word but, but, ocean. But Chris, but Chris. Listen, Chris. Chris. Angry. Okay. Chris. That's when you're lying. Why are you getting angry for? Because you're lying. No, why are you getting angry It's used the word ocean. Okay, so what's, the, says, word, what's the Arabic word used? Speaks. No, no. What's, Arabic? What's, what's, the, what's Arabic word? What's the Arabic word? It's the word for spring, not no. ocean. No. What's the Arabic word? How you, honest, how no, you, you tell what's me. What's the Arabic word? You tell so me the word for spring know, and the word for ocean. Know what so you don't know how to translate it. Why, so you, why the, are you getting so emotional about something? Why are you getting so emotional about something? They translate it as Chris. People who know Arabic translate it as spring. I trust them. If you don't know the Arabic yeah. word being yeah. used, why oh, are you on. getting so angry oh, come on. about a word that you don't even know if, it's, if there's other possible translations for it? Is that? What's the, what's the possible what, translation? What's yeah. the word? Come on. No, what's the, no, what's no, the no, word no. that's being used? I'm asking you a question. Oh, come Very on. directly, what is the word being used? Do you, know, you know Arabic? Yes. Come on, you tell me. So what, why don't you, you know this? You tell me the word for ocean why do you, and the word why, for spring. So well, you're making the claims. You're making the claim. <laughs> why do you not know this? No, you're making a claim. This guy's making a claim. No, you made the claim. That the word is for spring. No, no, no. No, no. Chris, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? I think you're disingenuous. Can I ask you a question? Honestly, I think we end it now. No, can I ask you a question? Chris, can I ask you a question? Go on. I've got one question. You appreciate that when the Quran is in Arabic, right? Yeah, okay. So you appreciate also that people will have a different choice of words when they translate. Not that many. No, no, hold on a second. Not that many. No, no, but, but they will. You don't, you don't know but they will, won't they? Oh, no, 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 but hold on. But, no but people will people will choose mm -hmm. a choice of words which they yeah. feel are best explanatory to, towards the, the original Arabic, right? Right. Now, you will accept that obviously they will differ in, in the choice of words, yeah. right? So, what would be logical then, I believe, and rational and, and, and reasonable and balanced, mm -hmm. is that you would say, well, that doesn't make sense if I were to translate it in that way. But this translator, yes. but this translator, has translated it in this way. And I think, you know what? I need to go back to find out what that word is and what are the possible translations to that word, right? Thank you. Now, now, hold on a second, right? So now, if you go back to the original trans, uh, the Arabic, mm -hmm. and you look at the grammar and the translation of those words, mm -hmm. and in fact, you look at the context and how it's being explained. And it, and, it, and, it actually, and, it, and it actually results in an ex, uh, 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 um, how it appeared to that individual. That's rather, the whole point. Rather than make it a matter of fact. Because the reason why I say that it can't mean that is because the Quran says that they are all in their orbit. In Surah Anbiya. I think, is it Surah Anbiya? He's already accepted it's in the, orbit. The, the Allah, says, Allah says that they, 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 they are in their own orbits. In, yeah. Right, okay. So 
If you argue that the Quran is already saying that they are in their own orbits, mm -hmm. then clearly it cannot set in on Earth on oh, a muddy pu pu puddle. Does it go like that? No, but it can't set in a muddy puddle then. Yes, it can. It so, like so then what you would have to do, <laughs> being reasonable... Yeah. No, no. It, no, 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 no. But Chris, what you would okay. have to I do... If, that's if, a, there's if a contradiction in the Quran. Sort of no, no, hang on a second. If the translations are what you're going by, I found translations that uses the word see. So what are you going to do there now? There you go, yeah. So, <laughs> but, so, so, no, no, the point here... Just, okay, to make Chris, it hear Look. my point. I have found a translation, even if I find one, no. Even if I find no. one, a translation that where this is the word C is used. What is where is your point now? The point is, is something your point? Your point is changed the word to no. make it so it's not me. No, it just shows so have, no. that the, the Arabic word is not spring. So <laughs> so, no, you're the it's one so who's being desperate, desperate to explain this. Which translation of the Quran do you read? I don't think it's what you do. Which translation of the Quran do you read? Um that's not even the point. It doesn't matter if it says see your spring at all. Which which verses which which Quran says? Okay, 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 how okay. many of those translations say spring? I found at least one. Do you want more? I checked them. I did I check found, a list of them. Well, you need to check my more. Friend, one has said ocean. So the, all so the says point spring, here is this one, you've one admitted the Quran says that the. Because the oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! You admit it does say ocean? Yeah, no. Exactly. Yeah, you, you, you said you found one. You saying, found one. No, no, you found one. No, but I think you found one. No, hold on one second. One, no, no, that's important. That you got lie. so that angry. Yeah, exactly. You got so angry and animated person. when I said ocean, and yet you, you accept no, you I have read not. a copy of the Quran that says that. He's a liar. But he's a liar. The one who, the one who wrote it was a liar. How, how would you know he's a liar? How, how do you know he's lying? How do you because know it goes against his understanding. Because their video was discreet with him. So how do you know he's not telling the truth and the rest are wrong? Ah! Billion. I love that. All those people are wrong. All those chances are wrong. How do you know? How do you know? All of them are liars. How do you know? Not liar. Not lying. Brilliant. Listen, Absolutely can you be misunderstood without lying? Can you be? Can you misunderstand something without lying? Is not yeah. misunderstanding something truthful? You have so it far is... failed to prove to me this word means. I don't have to prove anything to you, Chris. So, 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 Chris, so, 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 Chris, if someone misunderstands something, does that mean they're lying? No. It doesn't. Does I it? still do lie. So, no, but you just said now. So you just accused. One says ocean. No, but you just accused that person of lying. Liar. Yes. Or. Yes. Or liar. the others are misunderstood. No. What do you mean no? I understand why you're an atheist, actually. Yeah. I do understand. Do you know what I say about atheists? You've not engaged your brain, mate. Oh, yes, I have. And I thought. Listen, no, no, sorry, no. I agree no, no. with you. No, I'm going to take it straight. You atheists, one, you atheists, one is lying. Chris, Chris, you atheists claim to be intellectual, yes. reasonable, yes. logical. Yes. Well, we've got the evidence here, you're not. Wrong. You're not. You've used logical fallacies throughout this discussion. No. Yeah? You're trying to tell us what Arabic means. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You, yes. You, yes. You've, yes. you've shown yes. us that the Quran says the sun is in orbit, and then you're also claiming the sun claims it sets in a muddy pool. You can't do that, yeah. yeah. Right. You claim the Quran says it's a flat earth with a dome. Where have you got that from? Where? Where? You've also conceded you don't use any tools to understand the Quran except what? Your brain. Yes. And you think you're qualified to read a book yes. and understand it without any background knowledge of it? Yeah. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that was Chris. Chris is gone. Um, I know I've repeated this so many times, we play the ball, not the man here. We're not interested in Chris as an individual, we're not worried about his personal... I don't know what happened to him at seven years of age that made him think about God and why things have happened to him. Another story. The principle here is this. This guy's an atheist. This guy is denying an uncaused cause to be powerful or um, intelligent because it means he may have to accept the idea of a God. So what does he do? He creates a magic spark. The spark of the universe, the god of the spark, sorry, the spark of the gaps. This is not logical. He accuses my understanding of an uncaused cause to be illogical and throws logical fallacies of straw men out there. He uses special pleading that we know there's no such thing as a spark that causes itself and yet he produces one because it explains the universe without having to worry about a god. He then moves on to the Qur'an. He then tries to tell us about verses of the Qur'an and yet he, at the same time he accepts that he doesn't use a tool to understand the Qur'an. Now, like I said, we play the man, not the ball. This is for all you people, atheists, agnostics, Christians, whatever. If you want to quote the Qur'an, please understand it. Please go to the people who spent their lives understanding it, who know the language, know the history. 
You know, I hear many, many Christians say to me, oh, isn't that convenient that Muhammad Sallallahu came up with a verse when uh, it suited him? Oh no, this is how the Quran was revealed over 23 years. This is how it's applicable. This is how we use it as a practical way. So we know when circumstances occur, how to deal with it. Like, for example, we spoke about kill the unbelievers wherever you find them, which is a verse people like Britons first like to use. But we look at the context of any text. What does it say before it? Fight those who fight you. Therefore, there's context to what it's saying. So if you want to quote the Quran to us Muslims, please have some kind of understanding of the verses, why and when they were revealed. Please don't be like Chris, because atheists are supposed to be intellectual, reasonable, logical, and my man here was anything but. Anyway, inshallah, may Allah guide you all.